Hello from Shrix and hello from Smartherd. What's up guys? In this video, we are going to design our questions.xml with the help of linear layout in our Eclipse. Now let's not waste time and quickly jump onto the Eclipse. Now in the Eclipse, I am having the questions.xml with a linear layout. As you can see in the XML layout, it is actually having the linear layout with a vertical orientation. Now we will start our designing one by one. In the last video, I showed you this linear layout. This parent linear layout is having three linear layouts inside it. Fine. Now the first linear layout that you can see in the red box in the left hand side of this video is actually linear layout horizontal. So let's do one thing. Go to the layouts folder, drag and drop this linear layout horizontal into this parent linear layout. At the right hand side of the screen, you can see an outline tab and inside the outline tab we are having a linear layout vertical so just drag and drop it here right now go to the questions.xml you can see the codes of the linear layout has automatically been generated now again go to the graphical layout now the middle part of the questions.xml is actually a linear layout vertical so again drag and drop it now here you can see this is our parent linear layout now it's time we should drag and drop the bottommost linear layout inside our parent linear layout. Now the bottommost linear layout is actually the linear layout horizontal. Just drag and drop it. Fine. So inside our main linear layout, we are having a linear layout horizontal at the top, then linear layout vertical in the middle and the linear layout horizontal at the bottom. Now what we are gonna do in the left hand side of the screen as you can see the topmost linear layout is having the two text view xx and yy so what we are gonna do we are just going to drag and drop the two text views inside our linear layout horizontal now go to widgets drag and drop a text view inside our first linear layout right now drag and drop another text view in the first linear layout right now here we are having two text views <clears throat> now do one thing go to questions.xml now here you can see our codes now if you are getting confused with whole bunch of codes then please don't bother about it go to the graphical layout in the right hand side of the screen you can check out what are the components that your layout contains our layout contains a linear layout and inside this parent linear layout we are having three separate linear layouts and in the first linear layout we are having the two text views fine so please don't confuse with the codes that you can see here any confusion go to the outline and check out what all components you are having here now here what we are gonna do we are going to change the text as xx then slash now the second text view as yy now we are now going to provide the weight sum attribute to the parent linear layout now let us provide the weight sum as 100 now we are going to divide this 100 weight sum in these three linear layout first linear layout then second linear layout then third linear layout now in the first linear layout we are going to provide the layout weight 8 now inside the second linear layout this is the middle and the very fat portion of our questions.xml so we are going to provide the layout weight as 80 now again our last linear layout let us provide the layout weight as 12 now go to the graphical layout now now here you can see the middle portion is this linear layout it is having the layout weight of 80 this linear layout at the top is having the layout weight of what 8 and this linear layout at the bottom is having the layout weight of what 12 so 8 80 and 12 right this completes our weight sum of 100 now what we're gonna do in the first linear layout let's set the gravity as center as soon as we set the gravity as center then you can see our text view has aligned itself at the center of these layout now guys if you are not getting all the attributes that i am using here then please go back and check out my previous videos i am not going to repeat the basic concepts of all the attributes of the linear layout as i have already explained all the attributes of linear layout in details in the separate videos that i showed you earlier now in the earlier videos as i taught you when we are using the weight sum of 100 and we are using the layout weight 
in the orientation vertical then in that case you have to make your layout height as 0 dp fine so change the layout height as 0 dp here then again in the second linear layout change the layout height as 0 dp again then in the last linear layout again change the height of what 0 dp fine now go to the graphical layout now this is the recommended approach that we have to use that is why i have changed the layout height as 0 dp in all the linear layouts right let us do one thing let us change the text color let's make it completely black fine right now these two text view are having the black color now do one thing let us change the id tv xx then tv yy now let us assign the id to our linear layout questions underscore linear layout save it now in our second linear layout what are the components that we are having we are having a text view for question and a scroll view containing a text view for answer so what we are gonna do we are just going to drag and drop a text view inside our second linear layout which is having a vertical orientation now you are going to find your scroll view inside the composite so go to composite here is the scroll view drag and drop the scroll view inside the second linear layout right so it will be automatically be aligned below this text view and inside the second linear layout now automatically you can see here inside the scroll view we are having a linear layout right so do one thing drag and drop a text view inside the linear layout of the scroll view now here are the codes of the second linear layout you can see here now do one thing change the id of the text view as tv question now this text view will represent the question now change the text as question fine now inside the scroll view we are having a linear layout and inside the linear layout we are having a text view now this text view actually represent what tv answer now here we have to type what press now go to the graphical layout now you can see here now in the second linear layout this linear layout is having a tv question we are having a scroll view and scroll view is having what a linear layout containing the text view fine now guys there is one problem this scroll view is actually represented by this blue line this blue line that you can see here is actually a scroll view so we want our scroll view to fill this whole second body of linear layout so what we are gonna do just double click on this scroll view now here change the height of scroll view as match parent so we are having this scroll view acquiring this much space now what we are gonna do this text view is stuck to the left and top corner of the scroll view and this question also it is stuck totally to the left corner so we want a little space as you can see in the left hand side of the screen there is some padding for the question and also for the text view of the answer so just double click on this tv question now do one thing padding let's say 15 dp now same same padding for this tv answer also padding let's say 15 dp fine now go to the graphical layout now here you can see our layout is now looking pretty good with a question having a distance of 15 dp all around and this answer is also having a padding of 15 dp all around so in the left hand side it is having a distance of 15 dp and even if our answer will will reach at the right corner then also there will be a distance of 15 dp so we don't have to bother much about it right now it's time to add three buttons in the bottom of the in the bottom linear layout which is having a horizontal orientation now let's drag and drop three buttons out here in this linear layout button one button two button three now let's do one thing double click on this linear layout we are going to modify this linear layout by adding some attribute let's say gravity center then center horizontal now what it is going to do it, it is going to align our buttons these three buttons are having the equal spacing from the both sides and it is aligned in the center and center horizontal orientation which we have just applied with the help of the attribute gravity and this gravity attribute guys again we discussed earlier also fine now do one thing change the id as b left let's write the width as 50 dp width and height as 50 dp now button 2 now this button is actually show answer so let's write the id as show answer fine now width and height again again as 50 dp
now this b right fine now you can check the graphical layout how our layout is looking now please don't bother about this button we will add the image to these buttons so that it will automatically look awesome so no need to worry about it if it is looking odd now we have now designed our basic structure of our linear layout of the questions.xml now we are pretty done with our this tutorial guys now in the next video we are just going to add graphics to our layout it is looking quite party boring so we are just going to add the graphics to our layout in the next video meanwhile guys if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and do leave a comment below my video if you are having any doubt this is shrakes from smart Heart signing off and have a good day thank you